We are in a state of emergency. Prejudice. Wrote a song about it? Like to hear it? Here it go. Free your mind. To boldly go where no man has gone before. I keep it real. What dear? Cause I keeps it real like that. I keeps it real. But here, we ain't asking for power, we taking it. We ain't asking for a seat at their table, we make the seat at our table. We make you bow down to us. This is what it's about. And you cannot go out and say you love black people and you see what we're doing and try to destroy it and think Marcus Mosiah Garvey is gonna back you, that he would approve of what you're doing when this is the only, this is the only game in town. You're the guest, Brother Maurice, you know, whatever you like to bring to the audience and say, because we're limited here, you're only here till, till eight, so. Okay, yes, thank you, brother. I, I wanna go back to Soul Liberation Day. Yes, sir. Um, 
because to me that that was such a beautiful experience that was such a beautiful experience i can't wait for the next one yes sir, yes, sir. and and sitting there being in unity same mission same purpose and we're coming together to get the work done and a spirit of love which produces real power real power real unity you know and I'm, I'm, I'm going to just say this because there was a video done about Soul Liberation Day. Yes, sir. Um, and, and, and I listened to it. And my, my thing is, was this. Are we going to stay the way that we were in 1992 when it's <clears throat> 2021? It, 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 there's supposed to be growth. There's supposed to be maturity. Because we're, we're supposed to be moving forward, not standing still. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we got to really assess what are we doing when we go out there and something as, as beautiful as Soul Liberation Day and then talk negatively against it mm -hmm. when you don't even have nothing to replace it yes sir when you're gonna well, it's one thing for the cracker to do it <laughs> we we expect the cracker to do it but one of our own in 2021 <laughs> you still want to do that foolishness mm. it doesn't make sense and, and it shows where the lack of growth is actually the lack of life. Uh. And so therefore it produces death. It produces death. And we got to be able to see that we need each other. We need each other. You ain't never enslaved me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You ain't never take from me my name, my, my religion, my way. You never done none of that to me. None of that to me. So when, when, when I found out that you were sick, you were in the hospital, that hurt me. That hurt me. Because you are my brother. You are my brother. And like I said, you know, I, I told some people that when we get in the mayor's office, when we get sworn in, I want you standing there right next to me. Yes, sir. Because that's where you belong. That's where you belong, right next to me. You, you are the, the originator of it. I was blessed to receive your communication. I was blessed to receive your communication. And it went all the way with my spirit. So it was excellent. And we got to get on it and get it done. And through time, we continually made step after step move after move and look where we are mm -hmm. look where we are and this is really just the beginning this is just the beginning so just like the cracker they got there mount rushmore where they got their greats at well we gonna have ours yes sir, yes, sir. we gonna have ours where we have ours at and you gonna be right there with me because we are the fathers of this new reality mm. and that's real so the question has to be what is what is stopping those who claim that they love black people mm. what's stopping them from helping us what's stopping those who who say that they are working for the benefit of black people What's stopping you from helping us? Because there is no other plan outside of this plan that's going to give you freedom, justice, and equality. There is no other plan. Mm -hmm. There isn't. People talk about, it's about power. Well, if you ain't doing this, you ain't getting no power. That's right. This is where it is. This is where it starts. That's right. So people, they, they, they say these words like they're going fishing 
trying to get a bite on the hook, but nobody's biting because the genuine, they're, they're not genuine. See, people can feel your spirit. They can pick up on it, whether you real with it or whether you BSing. And see, this ain't about BSing. You want to BS, go with Tamika Mallory and, and Ben Trump and go with them and go march somewhere. Go march somewhere and get what you're going to get. But here, we ain't asking for power. We taking it. We ain't asking for a seat at their table. We make the seat at our table. We make you bow down to us. This is what it's about. And you cannot go out and say you love black people and you see what we're doing and try to destroy it and think Marcus Mosiah Garvey is going to back you, that he would approve of what you're doing when this is the only, this is the only game in town. Yes, sir. This is the truth. Ain't nobody else out here doing what we doing. Ain't nobody. Nobody. They still want to be controlled. They want to be partially free and partially controlled because what? They don't want to accept the responsibility. That's they it. don't want to accept the responsibility. But see, this is how you know that a man is a man and he's free. Because your behavior is the indication of your freedom. Your behavior is the indication of your freedom. So when you stop and think about taking over not just a city and a county, but a state, a, sta a slave can't see, let alone think in those terms. They can't. And they're afraid because they're going to say, oh, the cracker ain't going to let you do this. Mm. Oh, oh, you going to say that? The cracker going to come get you. Mm. The FBI going to show up at your door. Because you talking about taking power. You talking about taking cities, taking states. Well, wait a minute. I'm a man. I'm a grown man. I'm a god. I'm supposed to exercise power. I ain't supposed to sit up under my enemy and, and keep saying, why are you still oppressing me? Why are you not treating me right? Why are you not giving me a job? Well, if you're intelligent, if you're smart, you don't have to go and beg them to do for you what you can get off your ass and do for yourself. See, mm -hmm. brother, most people that do that talking, they don't want that responsibility. They don't want the, they want the glory and the honor, mm -hmm. but they don't want the responsibility. They don't want to do the actual work. They don't want to do the actual planning. They don't want to do none of that stuff. But they want to sit back on on the video and say this and say that but when it comes down to the work you don't see them mm. there's there's people that i thought that would be with me mm -hmm. doing this work doing this work they can be on the video <laughs> with me but when it's when i turn around and look they ain't there they ain't there, but they're there on video, but they ain't there in reality. You see, and that's something wife would always tell me. Oh. Always tell me, like she says, your, your, your greatest strength is the love of your, our people, but that's also your greatest weakness. Oh. That's also your greatest weakness. And, and you know, cause she can spot the fake and she'll tell me, and I may not want to hear it. Because I want to believe what got what they got coming out their mouth is real. But it ain't. But it ain't. And when you look at what they talk about trying to do, 
<laughs> that's not going to do anything. That's not going to produce any damn change. No. Nothing whatsoever. <laughs> and it's like that they refuse good counsel. They want somebody to be their yes man. Mm. But you're not going to be successful like that. You, you can't, you have all yes men around you. You ain't going to be successful because they're not able to see the, the errors and the gaps that you got. Yes sir. yes, sir. But when you have it open and that people that you already said, look, I don't want no yes men. Tell me the truth so that I can see better. This is what, I, this is an expectation. This is an expectation. People don't want that because they don't want to be uncomfortable. Mm. See, mm -hmm. the, 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 this is the thing. When people hear about our Mississippi plan and they laugh, <laughs> God, them niggas just talking. They laugh. They make fun. Yes. Yeah. But they have nothing to offer. No solutions. <laughs> just continue the same old, same old. See, at, at, at least we got a solution and we're putting work behind it to produce a product that goes beyond talk. We're producing a product that generations unborn will be able to live in freedom. We're producing a product that our ancestors will be able to look on and rest in peace and rest in power. This is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And can't no punk bring about that kind of reality. I mean, we just have to keep it 100. All of them should be praising the work of the Mississippi Initiative. Yes, sir. Of Mississippi Exodus. Yes, sir. All of them should be praising that work. Because they heard it from a talk and see it from a real thing that there's action behind what we do. And so like you said, dear brother, when they see me, they see you. Yes sir. yes, sir. When they see me, they see you. And that's real. I can't be a man that's going to rob you of what is total, what is due to you, and then expect to be a leader of good standing. Ain't gonna happen. Cause if I rob you, then I'm gonna rob somebody else, oh. and rob somebody else, and rob somebody else. So we can't do that. We gotta be, we gotta be men of integrity. We gotta be men of good character because our people deserve it. Mm -hmm. They deserve it. You know, I had a cracker who said to me, I believe you're going to do what you're going to do in Mississippi. I believe that. But what I'm fearing is you're going to be unjust to white people because you don't like us. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's not the case. I'm not going to be unjust to you. I'm not going to be unjust because that's not who I am. I don't want to do cracker wrong. I don't want to do us. I don't want to do nobody wrong. I just don't want, I don't want nothing to do with it. Cause that's how the cracker acts. I don't yes, want sir. nothing to do with that. I'm going to do right period point blank. So, you know, for, for real justice, real freedom, they're not going to get it anywhere outside of us. I'm just keep it real. That's right. They're not going to get it anywhere outside of us. It's not going to happen. You can stay following your, your, your American politicians and their lies, or you can come down to reality. Because this is real. This is real. We ain't about robbing you and, 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 and doing evil to you. We, we, that's not who we are. That's not who we are. We done came through that. We're not living that. I'm not going to turn around and become what I hate. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not going to do that. So they they asked me, do you expect white people to actually vote for you? I said, you damn right. <laughs> right. You damn right I expect them to vote for me. Mm -hmm. And they say, well, how, how are they going to do it when you're black first? I said, shit, we've been living under white first. <laughs> we've been living under white first. And what did you get? Mm -hmm. What was the what was the evidence of your great life living under white first and you white? What all did you really get? Mm -hmm. And they were thinking about it. I said, let me let me walk you through history for a little bit. Let me let me mm -hmm. let me talk to you about your own white history. I said, you and your 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 higher class cracker, y'all always had issues with each other because the the rich white would never do the poor white white people correctly. They always did them dirty. Always. I said, when y'all was over in Europe, that's what y'all did. When y'all got over here to America, they continued that same bullshit. Then when they got us enslaved, then they say, okay, look, what we gonna do, we gonna make the, the, the trailer trash hate the black folk so they can stay fighting each other and we can rule both. That's I said, right. when we got, when we were freed from slavery, we immediately began to create schools for our children. I said, did you know that y'all poor white people did not have schools? Mm. Those white children were not being educated. Did you know that? Mm. They were like, no, I, I thought we were being educated. I said, no, you wasn't. Y'all didn't get schools until we start producing ours. And then we wrote the government from the Freedmen's Bureau and said, hey, y'all need to pitch in to the cost. Then they said, well, shit, if we help paying for niggas' education, we got to pay for these poor whites' education. I said, so that's how y'all began getting educated in school. Mm. It was through us. So if, if, if that rich white man and this poor white man the rich white man teaches his, but he never teaches the poor mm. because he always has to be able to control the poor. Mm. I said, when you when we got through slavery and we were working, they wasn't paying y'all. They were paying us. Then the then the president, uh, um, what's his name? Um, the one that was in the wheelchair, FDR. Mm -hmm. He created the minimum wage. And that's how y'all begin to get work. Because prior to that, we had to work. So then they said, well, shit, I got to pay the, pay the white man the same as I got to pay the nigga. Let me go ahead and, and, and pay my own kind. But y'all wasn't working. Mm. We were working. Y'all wasn't being educated. We were being educated. I said, now this is what your own people did to you. And you was living under white rule and you wiped your damn self and you ain't got a pot to piss in nor a window to throw it out. How is it that after slavery, we owning stores? Y'all got to come to us and say, uh, uh, Mr. Maurice, can, can, can I get credit at your store? And we'll pay you when the money come in, when the fields, the food come in. How is that that we can come from slavery and we own in business and you still ain't got shit? Mm -hmm. How is that? And you got rich white people and we pulling ourselves up by our bootstraps. This is what you got living under white. Mm -hmm. Now they motivated and moved y'all to go out and do and kill black people here, kill black people here and overthrow governments here. But uh, what did you get after it? Mm. You still ain't got a pot to piss in, nor one do to throw it out. You just as much as a nigga as, as they say we were niggas. That's right. But that's your own white people doing that to you. We never did that to you. So, yeah, you would benefit living, living under black rule. Because there will be justice. Mm-hmm. Don't break the law. That's the only thing. And even if you break it, we ain't gonna go out there and like the like we watching George Floyd trial and beat the shit out you, keep the neck on you and kill you. Right. We, we ain't gonna do that. 
That's not justice. Yes, sir. That's not our nature. So after I rolled it, ran it to him, he said, I guess you're right. I would vote for you then. He said, I damn sure know you're right. <laughs> you ain't going to get away from the truth. You ain't going to get away from the truth. Period. Sir.